Hey y'all! Hello, hello, hello! Abby, you wanna say hi to everybody? Can you wave? Can you wave? Say hi, Abby! Well, she's not very chatty today, but that's okay. We'll go on without her. All right, hey y'all, it's Whitney Nasley, and today we're talking about how to feel amazing on these stellar appointments, because I know a lot of people get a lot of anxiety, they get a lot of uh, heartburn, maybe you can't eat lunch, maybe you shouldn't eat lunch, dinner, you know, there's lots of different things going on. So let's, let's kind of calm down a little bit, and let's figure out what we can do to feel absolutely amazing on these appointments. Do you have something you want to say now? All right. So the best thing that we can do to feel amazing on these appointments is to be prepared. All right. I, and this is very simple stuff, guys, because it always goes back to the basics, right? Do you have everything that you're going to need to have? Don't go to a seller appointment if you don't have a contract. Why else? I mean, we don't need any more friends. We need contracts. We're trying to buy houses here, all right? Have your business cards. Have some comps. Have, um, if you're an agent, have your personal interest and disclosure with you. Be prepared. Uh, I also, you know, when I go see a seller, I have just one envelope. I don't have any out right now. But I just have one manila envelope. Her house. So if I'm going to look at three houses, I have three envelopes and I carry that envelope and one pen into the house with me because that lets them know without saying anything that I'm here on business. I plan on buying this house. I'm ready to do this thing. All right. When you are prepared and you've practiced what you're going to say, you've looked up the comps, you know the area, you know what's going on, you are going to feel hundred times better about absolutely everything. When you're not prepared, you're not at your best. So you need to be prepared to feel amazing on these appointments. Okay. The other thing is, is like we talked about Friday, be prepared for the yes. All right. Expect a yes, prepare for a yes, and ask for a yes. It's amazing to go on these appointments and get a yes. That, that's what we want. We want to hear yes. We want to hear absolutely you can buy my house. How quickly can you do this? And we need to be ready for that. We need to like know what we're going to do after they say yes. Because you don't want them to be like, yeah, sounds great. Let's do it. And you're like, oh, I wasn't ready. That's terrible. You're not going to feel amazing. All right. Be prepared. The other thing you can do is be on time. And if you're not going to be on time, be early. And I hate, I absolutely hate it. If I'm at home waiting on somebody or if I'm at a seller's house and they call and they say they're going to be 10 or 15 minutes late, I hate it. I hate it. It's rude. I've got another appointment. I got somebody else I got to go see. I got somebody else who really wants to talk to me, and I'm sitting here waiting on you. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And therefore, I don't want any of my people to be late. It is really, really, really important that you are on time. If you know an hour to 30 minutes ahead of time that you're going to be late, you need to let them know an hour or 30 minutes ahead of time that you're going to be late because they may be busting their butt to get over there at 6. And if you know you're not going to be there until 6.15 and you know that at 4.30, you need to let them know at 4.30 so they don't bust their butt to get over there. They might have to reschedule. All right. But be on time unless you can be early. It makes Everything flows so much better. And if they're sitting at the house and they're nervous and they're waiting on you and you get there early and you can kind of, you know, curb that anxiety because let's say your appointment's at 6 o'clock. If you get there at 6 o'clock and they've been there for 20 or 15 minutes, 
That means their anxiety has gone from, you know, like this to holy crap, it's showtime, it's go time. But if you get there at the same time they do, they don't have as much time to go like crazy on you and hit this level, okay? They may just get to here before you can start calming them down, talking to them, making offers, doing your thing, all right? All of that is gonna be better than if you let them go clear over to the other side and then you try to bring them back, all right? So be prepared and be on time. Uh, the second thing that you can do that's gonna just make you feel really good is wear a little button that says, I buy houses. Wear a shirt that says, I buy houses. Or, you know, go, if, if you're new at this, take some references with you. Having a piece of paper, even if it was from your, your dentist or your uh, old boss that you didn't get fired from that job, but you, you know, you just left because you were going to start doing this real estate thing. I'm not saying you have to have those things, but it's nice to have a letter or a little testimonial or something like with you in your packet that you can give these people that kind of boost your confidence because you know whoever this person is that's written this letter on your behalf they believe in you not just your mom believes in you or your husband believes in you or your dog believes in you but like a real person out there in the world believes in you. And when you can hand that over to a seller with your offer, it's just a little bit of social proof. And it doesn't need to be, you know, that you bought a house from this person. It can just be, especially in the beginning, it can just be on your character. You know, if you have um, your pest control service and you've never been late on those payments, if you have... Um, you know, who, whoever else is somebody that you work with on a continual basis and you've got a relationship going and it's going to be the same kind of business relationship with these sellers. So if you just have something with you that says, yeah, I'm a badass, people believe in me, I'm going to be able to do this thing, and you can hand that to your seller, that gives you more confidence. That gives your seller more confidence. And even though it's not exactly the same kind of business situation, it is a business situation and it is a business person saying she knows what she's doing. You should work with her. If I ever got in your position, I would call her or him. All right. So those three things should really boost your confidence. It should really boost your uh, offers because when you're happy about your offers, they just do better. Okay. If you're prepared, if you're on time, and if you have a reference or some kind of testimonial as to, yeah, this is going to be a good deal, you are going to feel so much better on these appointments. So have your stuff together, get there early, and have somebody that's going to vouch for you. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm doing these lives every day at 1 o'clock. I'm going to be one o'clock every day this week, and I know Friday we're starting to get into the weekend, but I'm still going to do the one o'clock. I mean, I might be in the car, but we're going to do our one o'clock uh, Facebook Live this week. So if you have any questions, let me know, and make sure you share this. If you learn something, make sure you share this, and have all your friends like this page. Go to facebook.com slash coach Whitney Nicely, especially if you're watching the replay on YouTube. You need to head over to Facebook and go to facebook.com slash coach Whitney Nicely. Tomorrow's topic is how to add passive income to your monthly needs. So if y'all have another topic you want me to talk about, let me know. Send it to me. Send me a message. Let me know if you have any questions. And Abby the Labby and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.